Hi, I'm Bernie Thompson. I'm the founder of Pluggable Technologies, and we're really excited today to have gotten in a Chromebook Pixel. Um, and what makes this so exciting to us and to a lot of other people is this is the very first uh, laptop or computer of any kind uh, that has USB Type-C ports. Uh, Apple actually beat Google to the punch in terms of announcing a system, the new MacBook. Um, but uh, here we are, Apple announced on Tuesday, Google announced on Wednesday. Sitting here on Friday, we placed an order with Google and uh, already have our uh, Chromebook Pixel in hand. So the uh, Chromebook Pixel has uh, a minimum number of ports. It's got a USB Type-C here, two USB Type-A here, audio here. Uh, on the other side, it's got another USB Type-C, which distinguishes it from the MacBook, which only has one. This has two, uh, and a memory card slot. So why are the two Type-C ports uh, important? Well, right from the get-go, power delivery, the ability to uh, charge and power the laptop, is baked right in. So here we have the uh, power adapter that comes with the Chromebook Pixel. Uh, it's a 60 watt power adapter and all of that power and any data connectivity is going through the same uh, USB wire and USB Type-C connector. And so we just plug that into one of the available ports and the uh, Chromebook Pixel starts charging. Now the cool thing is uh, USB Type-C, like the Apple Lightning connector, we can flip it over and plug it in the other way. So no more where you have to flip it once, flip it twice, and it seems like only on the third or fourth try it gets in. This will go in the first time every time. Um, because we have a port on the other side now, now that's uh, open up to connect devices. So uh, over here we have a, a pluggable USB 3 hub with an Ethernet adapter built right into it. Uh, the Chromebook Pixel only has Wi-Fi built in, so getting a wired network will you know, at least double your performance, sometimes uh, triple or quadruple it. So it's really great to get wired. Now we could uh, plug this Type-A connector into the Type-A ports that are on the side of the Chromebook Pixel. But, for example, on the MacBook, that isn't possible because it doesn't have those Type-A ports. So, um, in addition to getting the Chromebook Pixel, we ordered Google's uh, female Type-A to Type-C connector cable. So we'll just plug that in here and plug that into the, uh, into the Chromebook Pixel. And so what I have attached here is the Ethernet cable. So now I'm going to switch from Wi-Fi to wired Ethernet. And I've got a mouse connected, so now I can drag windows around on the screen, etc., uh, with this standard USB wired mouse. So this is again where you know USB has just done a, such a great job over the years. I've got these older devices using the older connector. In fact, uh, a USB mouse is actually a USB 1.1 device uh, if you look at it from kind of a, a electrical or USB standards level. And yet this USB 1.1 device, basically I could take a USB mouse from 15 years ago and plug it in and it will still connect through and work on this USB Type-C port. I just need to adapt the connector types. The same great backward compatibility we, we kind of have come to love about USB, it, it works here with the Type-C port. Um, so, you know, I now have a couple extra ports that are available. I can connect in flash drives. I can connect in USB hard drives. Um, you know, Google Chrome OS has pretty good support for a wide range of standard type devices like USB HID, which is, would be the mouse, and USB mass storage, which would be the flash drive. Um, it also has built-in support for a lot of devices basically that are supported in the Linux kernel. And at Pluggable, we try really hard to make sure that we produce devices that have in-kernel uh, Linux driver support. Um, what if we want to connect uh, a second large display to our Chromebook Pixel? Well, I can unplug that uh, and plug in Google's uh, Type-C to HDMI adapter. So I'll plug that in and I'll go over here and I'll grab an HDMI cable. And in fact, I don't need to charge right now. I'm gonna unplug that and plug my hub and my mouse over here so I get my mouse back and all my USB ports. And now up pops a monitor and I can drag that window back and forth. We don't need to make any compromises with Chromebooks anymore um, in terms of being able to attach multiple monitors. You may find that you actually have an older display uh, that only has a VGA connector, nothing built into the Chromebook, none of Google's adapters uh, will allow you to connect to a VGA monitor or projector. But we actually have a VGA to HDMI cable, and here it is, and I can actually unplug this HDMI display and then plug that HDMI adapter in there. And so this is a pluggable brand cable. It's basically doing digital which is this HDMI side 
to analog, which is that monitor side, um, and that will pop up in a second and the, and the uh, Chrome OS desktop will extend over to this other monitor. Let's actually grab a different type of hub. So here we have a, uh, a seven port uh, USB 3 hub. We can connect it either directly um, to, the, to the type A ports here on the side, or again, connect it through to the uh, type C here through the, uh, the Google adapter, which by the way is an option. It doesn't come with the Chromebook Pixel, but it's only $13. And we've got a separate USB ethernet adapter attached to that. Again, one of ours. And so now I'll take my mouse and take it from this other hub and plug that in over here. And I already have that network adapter plugged in. So now I'm able to uh, connect up to seven devices. And with this hub, they're all powered. Um, with the smaller one I was showing you earlier, um, it's relying on the power off type C, which is usually plenty for most devices. But as you get up to seven, attached USB devices, you want that to be externally powered, and that's what that hub does there. You know, what's the performance like on the Chromebook Pixel? Chrome OS is really efficient. As long as what you're doing uh, lives within the browser, um, and you know, around here we're heavy users of Google Docs and Gmail and, and uh, other kind of browser-based services, um, you know, the performance is really great uh, and perfectly snappy. Chromebook Pixel, a little bit pricey at $9.99, but the very first system to support USB Type-C ports, um, and so you're really future-proofed. It's going to be showing up on more and more Macs and PCs and uh, tablets and phones uh, over the coming years. Uh, the industry is really kind of solidifying around the Type-C connector. You can get access to and, and be on the forefront of that um, with a Chromebook Pixel. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below in the review. We'd be happy to answer anything. All the devices that we used here, we'll have links for you uh, in the description. So again, really excited. This is the Google Chromebook Pixel with the USB Type-C connectors.